get back to it. I'm not going to pull it this way because then he's going to just like move his head over. You're not getting very good information that way. You're going to pull it so he has to walk to get back to it. If you have a chihuahua, you don't have to pull it two feet. If you have a Labrador, you might want to. And is she doing the same as before, loose, loose leash, but if he tries to step forward, you prevent yeah. him from approaching the bowl? I always want him to have free access to the bowl. I never want him to have access to parents. So as long as he's in the bowl, his, his, his leash will be loose, but he will never be able to go further than the bowl. But when she pulls it away out of reach and he wants to follow it, you do stop that advancement. You're, the whole time you're looking at the dog, um, you're, you're looking for, like, sometimes dogs will pop up when they pull. If you have a dog that's doing this, <laughs> that's probably the dog you want to have a little bit better for. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs>
Um, what you want to avoid doing is if, if you push, pu if you pull, push, push, and he's still in there, you don't want to try to get it away from him again. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a four piece, and you just don't want to do that. Get his head out of the bowl and away from the bowl, and then you're going to move the bowl away and pick it up. Um,